previously on Black Gold. You're fired. You're done. Oscar is looking for a new driller. It's going to be a competition between both of you. Yeah, I can't show me what you got, then I'm going to have to find somebody else. But if you want something done right... You gotta do it yourself. Hey, go, go, go. On Big Dog 28. Put him back! Damn it. We definitely need more hands. Derek man Mitch Wisenhut races to get the rig back on schedule. What's up, bro? Is it like But loses track of time. Mitchell, he's on probation, parole. He got a ankle bracelet on. And he got to be at home at the right time, and he got to show up to work at the right time. If I make it home late, I'm not gonna the first. Mitch has 30 minutes to get home before his ankle monitor alerts his parole officer. Go late, relief showed up late. It's not cool at all, man. I've done my time in prison, you know, and I, if I leave again, I'm going to lose it all. He makes up time on the country roads, but when he hits city traffic... Uh, I'm almost home. I'm worried to death. I don't know if I'm going to make it. After serving time in prison, Mitch has turned his life around. It's time to get a little antsy. And with a wife and six kids at home, he can't afford any mistakes. I'm going to get out walk from here. Come on, dude. Five blocks, five red lights. Damn it. Come on, man. Almost there. Oh. What, dude? Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Man, I got exactly about a minute and a half to get there. It's 4 o'clock. The time he's expected to be home. If Mitch doesn't call his parole officer from the home line, it's my house up here on the right. Damn it! He's in violation of his parole. Gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Just after 4 p.m., Mitch finally makes it home. And races to check in with his parole officer. Doors locked? Are you serious? Yeah, I gotta keep my, my phone in my room so I can hear it if it goes off. Look at that, I gotta break it in my own room. Isn't that great? Hey, Mark. Hey, it's Mitch. Hey, I'm a little late. Sorry about that, I left the rig. A little late. Yeah. All right. You want me to come in tomorrow? All right, bud. Sorry about that. All right, bud. That was my P.O. He uh, had to call him when I get home. And I was a couple of minutes late. Now he wants to see me tomorrow. I don't know what that's about. So hopefully uh, it won't be too bad. Maybe he just wants to visit. Maybe he wants to get on my ass. <laughs> Back at Big Dog, Mount up. the crew is a week behind schedule, and without a new lead driller, things aren't moving any faster. Let's go, bitches! <laughs> what a joke. To make matters worse, the site's landowner is fishing for info on Rig 28's progress. Hey, what's going on? Buddy? How you doing? I'm Larry. How are you? I'm on. I'm Willie. Hi, Willie. It's my land out here, and I just kind of... Out drifting around, how's things going? It's kind of slow right now. We're in a bad shape, but that's all. We're, we're picking it back up. 
Uh, you have to you have to understand, Willie, that that just breaks my heart. <laughs> Landowner Larry has a high stakes deal with the company. Are you aware of the deal or the agreement that I have with with the company out here with Big Dog? No, I don't. I think it's important that you know about it. If Rig 28 gets shut down, Larry gets to sell the half dug wells to the highest bidder. You have a good day, yeah. buddy. We'll check uh -huh. you later now. <laughs> yeah, Lando pulled up and uh, he wanted some information. You know, we really can't talk too much about what's going on out here. I don't know what did, what's in this for him. You know, he sure gave a strange laugh when he drove off. <laughs> We're just working to try to do the best we can to get our these wells done, and uh, so we keep our job. You know, we're just gonna keep doing what we do, and we're gonna let people like that bring us down or nothing. We're just gonna keep drilling. <laughs> News of the landowner's visit is a hot topic at company headquarters. Got several million dollars invested in the acreage, and I just want you to be aware of what could happen to us. This business is full of disappointments. With millions of dollars at stake, the big dogs are sending in Supervisor Abraham Gonzalez, a longtime buddy of Oscar, to make their point. What's going on, Oscar? What's up, babe? All right, buddy. Oh, man. Uh, one of them days, man. You know, what we talked about earlier, brother, talking about, you know, we don't, we can't get this done. We'll lose mineral rights and uh, and everything that'll go to for all, all that hard work y'all did for nothing, man. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. And I have to push these guys a little bit harder, brother. You're the boss, brother. The, bit, the rig reflects on you. The pressure is on to crack the whip. And Oscar's crew needs it more than ever. Hey! Get on the pipe! I ain't asking you to fix that. Get on the pipe! Hold on, man! Oh, hurry the up! You Hold on! Half a day! You better fix no barrel. I don't give a or help Louie. I'll take the bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'll help Louie. I ain't there to do that. Take go help Louie. Get the hacks off here. Without Brandon around to run a tight ship, the crew gets sloppy, turning even the simplest task into potential disaster. Despite all the pressure on the rig, discipline is an all-time low. I throw the hacks all over from the catch, and hey, chest him on it a different way, a uh, flat way. I don't know what he wants. Willie sends the pipes up the platform, along with part of his lunch. I guess it's just a wine bag. Hey, Willie! Get on the pipe! I ain't asking you to fix that. Get on the pipe! Both of y'all can suck a. Like, what the hell is wrong with that dude? I mean. Hurry up, mother. I ain't in no hurry, bitch. <laughs> Damn mess down there. <laughs> hey, look up, Willie. Look like a bad <laughs> on him. <laughs> they think you're funny. He'll be whining in a little while. I'm gonna get his ass. Hey, you got the shit back of his neck. Hey, don't get me involved. Who's that bitch at? Willie, no one would have known your ass was down there if you hadn't thrown a hacksaw up here like a dip. Hey, I'm taking a break. Back in the shed, Oscar has his marching orders. I guess it's just suck it up and do what you got to do. There's no time for distractions. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to hug you. Okay. Yeah, you brought me some lunch, huh? What'd you bring me? Sandwich. Your favorite. <laughs> That's sweet of you. You're like the little mirage in the desert. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Come on, man. We got time for no lunch break. I don't give a Come on. Oscar needs Justin's focus back on the rig. I'll call you after work. Bye. Thank you. 
Yeah, so I hope I didn't get Justin in too much trouble today, bringing him lunch, but um, I hope he has a good day, and I hope to see him when he gets home. I know Donovan making out, and he didn't do something. I didn't know she was coming. She just surprised me with some oh, lunch. I don't got no lunch, but we got to get the done with Get your ass back to work. You got a gun, you scared her off. I'm an ugly mother that's why. Damn, lunch breaks around here. If the pretty girl shows up, I guess you get to take a lunch break. But lunch dates are the least of Oscar's problems. Woo! On the rig floor, the inmates are running the asylum. What you got? What you wiggling up in there? You got some? You got some in there for Marty? Some. You got some for him? Yeah. yeah. You got ready? And the latest victim is Warm Marty Olivas. Hey Marty! Hey, do me a favor. We didn't move that. We didn't put that bit breaker inside that sub right there. Hey, screw it over and see if it's heavy. See if you need it. We're gonna move it over there. Go, go, ready. No! Hey, mother. Marty gets hosed. What is it? That's the last time, man. I already told your ass. What is it? Stupid mother. All mother day. What I happened? Told you. That's my mother driller. Mother. I ain't playing. Hey, hey, here he comes. When he was saying something about he's trying to cool you off or something. Hey, f that mother dude. I already, I already told his ass three times already. Three times? I told him, hey, you ain't my driller, man. Hey, I'm done talking to you, bro. For real. Hey, I ain't man. trying to hear you, bro. If you look at that mother it don't take much to feel sorry for that dumb son of a bitch. It's like Forrest Gump says. Stupid is, stupid does. That mother ate up with stupid like a mother Like a bag of hammers. But Willie isn't the only roughneck who isn't housebroken. Payback's a bitch. Oh. The hands might be joking around, but Oscar isn't laughing. One thing that I don't want to put up with is hands showing up. I don't got time for these motherfuckers showing up drunk, not wanting to work. I don't got time for nothing. I don't got time for all this horse playing around. Oh, I ain't can't do it because I'm tired. I'm tired right now, and I ain't putting up with this. Coming up, Brandon struggles with life off the rig. I just got to burn out on Justin. I don't know, I just don't trust him in anything. And as the rig struggles without Brandon... What the f***, man? It snapped. Mitch puts his life on the line. In downtown Midland. Sometimes I wake up and I'm not in a good mood and I'm just kind of blow off a little steam. Brandon lost his job. I'm gonna let you go. That's bullshit, Oscar. That's it. Yeah. And his best friend. You lost your job, can't stay out of jail. Grow, grow up, dude. Grow up. Yeah. You. But before he can get them back, he's got to work on himself first. I'm coming here, you know, stepping here for about an hour, two hours. This and the golf course, uh, it's like a stress reliever for me, you know what I mean? Once I get out, I'm in a good mood, man. I'm just kind of burnt out on Cheston. I like working out by myself. Out on the oil fields. I worked for Oscar for the last three years. I have never seen him as stressed out as I have lately. Mitch dodged a bullet. His parole officer let him off with just a warning. Now he's ready to get back to work and prove he's got what it takes to be a driller. Been short-handed, you know. I've, I've been, been through three drillers now. And with Cheston taking his day off, Mitch expects more time on the drill. I'm a dedicated person, you know. I love my job and I love to be here. Oscar just trying to keep all our jobs for us. You know what I mean? I mean, he can only do so much. You know, I just hope things get to level out a little bit so he can level out. Lately, it's just been more crazy. Mitch gets ready to drill. Mitchell! There's gonna be another change. 
but he's not the one leading the crew today. Oh, well, now you're kicking me off? Yeah. Yeah, me later. Wow. Oh, are you serious? I'm a punk bitch, I guess. With Big Dog Corporate breathing down his neck, Oscar needs an experienced driller. We need to go ahead and work together and get this done real quick. Word got back to Oscar to go ahead and bring me out here. Go ahead and get this rig turned around. So he's brought in freelancer Juan Ulos to pick up the pace. Hey, Blake, come on. A little bit of help. They've been sending me from red rig, fixing rigs. You know, they sent me out here to rig 28, go ahead and fix this, fix this rig out. If, uh, drilling ring ain't drilling. You know, you cost a lot of people money. They got me over here fixing this bitch. Watch out, boy. That's everything, boy. No, nah, man, we still got some tools on the other side. We gotta lay down the IBSs. I can understand Oscar. He, he's been having hell here. It's been a while since he had some good hands out here. Where's that weapon for him? Hurry the f up, dog. She's really like pissing me off, don't you? Get his tongue off, Blake. Okay, let's go. With one at the helm, the team is finally back in business. Mitch isn't happy losing time on the drill. Hey, were you right over the f***ing drill? What the f***? Hey, where do you want to put the money? Get the shelf for it, Mitch. What the f***? Across town in Midland, Brandon reports for anger management therapy. Hello. Hey, Brandon. How are you doing this evening? Hey. Good. good. How are you? Great. Good. I'm glad you're here. Me too. That's good. Is this for me? Yep. Last time we talked, you were seriously trying to learn some new behaviors and new ways of doing things. Yeah, I know. And for some reason, you keep doing the same things that create this problem for you. Like when I went and beat that dude up last year. Yeah. A year ago, Brandon was arrested for brutally beating up fellow roughneck Aaron Wheeler. Explain that to me. That guy, that, that day I drove over to that guy's house. I was so pissed off. I've never been that pissed off in my life. What's under that? I mean, well, if we took anger and we looked at it like it's a, an onion, okay? I don't like onions. And it, well, we're still going to look at it like that. All uh, right. Say, you peel back the first layer of the onion. Anger's the first layer. What's under that? Another layer? Uh-huh. Another emotion. What's under that? What's under anger? I don't know. A felony charge? <laughs> that's not an emotion. <laughs> but that's, that's good. Uh, pain? And underneath that? You're hurt. But I was I was hurt before I was pissed off. Yeah, of course. Tell you the truth. Like I wasn't hurt after I beat him up. I could care less what the hell's going on. I'm talking about what created the anger. Usually at the very root of the anger issue is fear. It's fear. So here you are, a grown man, and you really have all these other emotions going on. The only way that you know how to express it is through anger. But that's not really the way it is. Can you ever remember a time in your life that you felt like a victim? When I'm dreaming. I've had dreams like that. Tell me one. Like, when well, I'm, I'm trying to beat this dude up, and I just can't hit him. It's like, no matter what, I just can't hit the guy. That's pretty symbolic. It says a lot about who you are. What does it say? It talks about you being helpless. In this world that you live in, you're a victim. 
The whole world's out to get you. You can't stop them. You can't even have any fun because they're going to get in trouble. What I heard last week kind of gives me concerns that maybe Chester doesn't have your back in some ways that he should. Back on Rig 28. Come on, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get that air horse on there. One's been brought in to get the crew back on track. Break down that jolly graph. And Mitch isn't having it. Watch that air horse. But his attitude isn't the only problem. Coming up, Mitch takes to the sky. And a rig malfunction puts the crew's lives in danger. On rig 28. What's that air hoist? Relief driller Juan Ulos has the rig up and running. Until hey, what the f man? Why did you do that? The line snap. Taking care of the air hoist cable is a worm's job. It snapped. Today, one of the rig's newest worms failed to see the cable snagged in the pulley. It snapped, and a hundred yards of tangled steel spooled out onto the deck. Damn. Why did you do that, Blake? We don't do that. The line snapped. It snapped. Your, your mind snapped. This motherfucker can't handle that damn air hoist. And he drops a damn line on the floor. It's one step forward and two hours back as the crew re-threads the pulley. You know how hard it is to rig that bitch up? And let's go ahead and get this line picked up, correct your damn mistakes. Back in Midland, so you need to evaluate your friendship with Cheston because that's pretty important right now. Brandon's therapist helps him see through his anger. Well, I don't know. I just don't trust him in anything. Really? Yeah. Anything? Uh-uh. Hardly anything. Why? He's Cheston. Well, yeah. I don't know what that means. I don't know Cheston. <laughs> what else do you not trust him with? A motorcycle. Uh, my knife, because he'll cut himself. Uh, my golf clubs, things so like that. So material possessions. Yeah. Because he's careless when it comes to that, you know what I mean? You need to have friends around you who have a certain amount of respect for you. You think? Because right now, one of the most important things going on for you is the fact that you could go to jail. Right. Well, he always, but I mean, like, he always tells me, stay out of the bar, stay out of that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I need to help myself, too, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, I was drunk last night. I mean, drunk beyond belief, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just wasted. I feel like today. Oh, OK. I mean, I need to help, you know, myself, you know? I know he's my friend and all, but I mean, he's there for what I need him for, you know what I mean? I know he does that. He tries to get on my nerves and push my buttons and things like that. But I, I do think he's my true friend, you know what I mean? Well, that's some things for you to look at, definitely. Because somebody can be your friend, but there's there's a continuum there, where somebody could be an acquaintance all the way to a best friend or even somebody you consider family. Right. You know, it doesn't have to be that somebody's either your friend or they're not your friend. You could trust somebody with uh, feeding your dogs when you're not at home. And other people you might trust with a house key. And other people you might trust to drive your vehicle. And some people you might trust around your girlfriend if you're not around. But it's different levels of trust, different levels of friendship. Uh -huh. And so it would be really important for you to figure out what level of friendship you actually have with Cheston and how much you can trust him with you. You're having a hard time with this. Yeah. It is so important that you get to this, Brandon. <sighs> it's really confusing to you. I can tell. I understand that, you know? So I'm being blunt, and I hope that you can take it in a loving way. I just did. Thank you. Thank you. 
Back on the rig. Let's go ahead and get this line picked up. Correct your damn mistake. Work is at a standstill. This is what puts the pipes up through the V door, picks up your floor plates up, tongs, bales, everything, man. Right now it's on the floor. It should be up in the damn dairy. That's the wormiest I've ever seen. If the hoist line isn't working, neither is the crew. We need to go ahead and get this done. This is going to be a setback, man. Hurry up, get up on the dairy. To repair the line, a hand must climb 150 feet and thread the cable through two pulleys. One wrong move and they'll come crashing down to earth. A lot of people expected me to be brought down the road and drilling tomorrow morning. It's going to send me back an hour if I send Mitchell to do it. Every second counts, and with Oscar watching over the crew, Mitch sees a chance to shine. Puts the roughnecks' lives at risk. Yeah, if we don't get this fixed, it could blow up and the whole rig blow up. <laughs> 150 feet in the air. Derek man Mitch Wizenhut is trying to re-spool the air hoist line. A job like this can take up to two hours. But Mitch gets it done in 20 minutes. <laughs> Still behind the eight ball, the crew kicks into high gear to gain back lost time. As Mitch shows what he's made of, Brandon questions his calling as a driller. This is it, man. Visiting an old roughneck memorial. It's history, man. I mean, look at that rig floor. It don't look anything like mine. It's made of wood. The wooden derrick's burned at the ground in like minutes, man. That's back when people come out here to work. They got a saying in West Texas, back when the derricks were made of wood and the men were made of iron. You know what I mean? That's why I always say I was born in a different age. I should have been born where the derricks were made of wood because I'm made of iron, you know what I mean? Look at us, a couple of badass machines from another time. A couple of old relics decked up. I can identify with this rig. I wish my name was on that mother. Back at Brandon's old rig, <laughs> Mitch saved the day by fixing the air hoist cable. Now Juan has the crew drilling again. When 
another disaster strikes. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. That's the last thing we need right now, dude. Damn it. This race keeps on breaking down on us. That's bad news for Juan. Right now that anger is not shutting it's not opening up all the way. You usually have this kind of problem when the annular shuts all the way. When you try to open it, it won't open because, I mean, it swells up inside. You can see the grooves right there. There's a million things that on the rig that don't, if you don't service it one day, you have a lot of trouble with it. And this is, this is really important to service every day. You know, this is what saves people's lives. Drilling underground can release high pressure gas that can explode up the drill hole, killing the crew. The blowout preventer cuts off deadly gas from reaching the surface. It's the most important safeguard on the rig. And it just broke down. Well, right now, I need an open hole, because otherwise I'll get stuck, and that'd be another problem. And we might have to take all those bolts off, and might throw us back maybe 12 hours. Mitchell, go ahead and wash it down, make sure there's not any trash in the way, you know what I mean? Keeping it from opening up. Yeah, if I don't fix this and we have a blowout, everything's gonna go to Probably get fired. <laughs> we'll fire Mitch or first. That's what Mitch ain't closing, dude. Juan sends Mitch down to investigate. Give me just like 15, 20 minutes. You gotta do just put change it on the ground, right? It's the BOP. I change the rims out. Mitch, I need you to go ahead and line them out. Let's get this done real quick. Do what? Hurry up. After saving the rig earlier, Mitch isn't happy about taking attitude from Juan. Well, on my damn nerves. But Juan is more than happy to remind Mitch who's in charge. I can't believe Mitch calls himself a Derek Ann. I think he's going to understand uh, what it is to come out here and work. A lot of hands, they graduate from high school, come out here thinking they're a real man, they come out here and realize you know what it is to be a real man out here, you know, roughnecking. Juan well, ain't right in my ass, I'll slap him in the mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me regardless. I know I'll bust my ass. I mean, ain't nobody works hard as I do, so I don't give a Juan, he, uh, he's a driller. That guy, you go right there, you know what I mean? Mitch finds the rogue valves. Serious. La, 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 you bitch. And the only way to fix them is to move the 400 pound flat back into position. <sighs> then close the 400 pound doors. <sighs> Mitch's hammer isn't enough. But he's not about to ask Juan for help. Coming up, Hello. Mitch puts his back into it. Take a blow up and the whole rig blow up. Now those fails, break out the sled, dude. While Brandon wants to get back into it. Hey man, I'm married to my iron and, and that's my baby right there. You know what I mean? Just a mile from the rig, Brandon's having a hard time letting go. I woke up this morning, man. I ain't been to my rig in about two weeks now. So I figured I'd come out here and look at it, man. This is what I'm out here to do, man. I'm a jeweler. That's my life, you know, that rig back there. I'm turning to the rock. Well, I can find another rig to work on, but like I always say, man, I'm married to my iron, and, and that's my baby right there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like someone's on my old lady, you know? Like someone's touching my woman, rubbing on my woman's leg, you know, I'm sitting here watching her. The money's not nothing, it's just It's the act, you know? The drilling job. That rig right there is drilling, but them hands ain't working like they should, because Brandon ain't there pushing the mother, you know what I mean? 
I'm not saying that I'm some big bad mother out here. I'm just saying, if you don't work for me, you're going to work. I mean, you just ain't going to come out here and eat sandwiches and talk on the phone and watch the rotary table turn and turn and turn. I've just seen things on that rig just be so beautiful, man. I mean, beautiful. I mean, just click, 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 like connection, a badass connection, or a nice driller, good ass driller, you know, run the rig. And you got some badass hands on the floor. You're good, Derek, man. I mean, I can smile all day watching a good crew work, you know what I mean? Brandon's a driller. Brandon needs to drill. I just hate it. I can't go back to that rig. Back on rig 28. Ah. The blowout preventer is still out of commission. Ah. And Derek man Mitch Wisenhut has gone from prospective driller ah. to grunt. Ah. I've been doing, doing this for years. I've never had this much trouble. The rig is down the they're not finished, that's the problem. It should have been put down a long time ago. Hey, this is a drilling rig, not a water park. Juan rides Mitch to get the job done, and while he closes the valves, Mitch can't help but vent. I can listen to him bitch, see? How that works. The more he's bitching, the slower I get. Him and every one of these mother kiss my ass. They can't whoop me. They want to fire me through my dead. So there comes the daddy right there. What? You're supposed to have them blinds closed when y'all are doing that. Don't worry about us, dog. Come on. Did y'all change this one on this side, Mitch? Right now, there should be they changing up pipe brands, but down there are f***ing up, like always. I always got to come down here and correct them. Shut the f*** up. Why suck my Mitch may be getting some guff, but he's getting it done. Meanwhile, back in the loony bin, we're all still trying to escape our straight jackets. It's been a long day. I don't give a I'm gonna get a job. I bet his bitch ass down here where he got to go. <sighs> Fully open. I mean, it looks like we got it done. That's, that's one less head that got our way. Mitch successfully moves the Rams back into position, but solving one problem reveals another. Damn, dude, I can't believe it. Come here, Rachel! Big surprise. The motor that provides air pressure to the hydraulics is malfunctioning. Oh, yeah, if we don't get this fixed, it could blow up and the whole rig could blow up. Once again, yep. Juan turns to Mitch for help. This is the one you want to adjust to your annual, right? Trying to get them annuals to open up. They won't, they won't open up all the way. It's supposed to be kicking in, and it's not kicking in at all. This hydraulic pump keeps deadly gases from rising to the surface by maintaining downward pressure in the hull. And if this motherfucker is working, you can have a blowout and you can't shut the pop rams or whatever. So if they had to come down here and couldn't figure it out, we had a blowout, everybody would be dead. Coming up. The pressure's dropping. Another accident threatens to shut down the rig. That's the last thing we need right now, dude. For good. Now we're... Out in the oil fields. If we don't get this fixed, it could blow up and the whole rig blow up. Come here, Mitchell! The motor that runs the blowout preventer is malfunctioning. Big surprise. Tinkering with... The valves are open, but the pumps are still stuck, so Mitch improvises.
I got the sled, dude. Once again, Mitch fixes the problem. But Juan takes all the credit. Hey, nothing I can't fix out here. That's why they sent me out here. Hey, Mitch! Okay, let's go. Ready? Hey, right there, dog. Just go ahead and hook it. With the blowout preventer back up and running, Juan tries to get the rig through its third hole. Watch out, guys. But Mitch has been the one leading the charge. Let's go, ladies! Oh. Hey, pick it up on this side. And now that the rig is back up, Juan won't share the glory. Everybody knows you're there, Ken. Wanna be? Shut the f up, Leslie! Mitch is, is it, it, he's getting there. You know, he's not there yet. So I'm, I'm breaking him in, you know. Maybe about four more years, five more years. He can earn my respect. But on the rig, there's only one way to get respect. Results. Come on, guys, get your job ready, let's go. He puts the pedal to the metal to make up for lost time. Hurry up. Come on, guys, get your job ready, let's go. But in his rush to reach total depth, Juan pushes the drill too hard and too fast. The pressure's dropping. Hey, Mitch, come here! Lose the pressure, man. Damn it. Get everybody rounded up, man. It's too bad. Oh, hurry up. Hurry up! Uh, come on! Damn it, Mitchell. Bitch, man. If this is a twist-off, it's the second one in the last six weeks. When the drill is run too hard, sheer force can cause the steel pipe to tear in half. That's the last thing we need right now, dude. Now we're Damn it! Once again, Rig 28 is shut down, possibly for good. Son of a bitch! We got a twist-off.